Hello everyone, welcome to Force Galaxy. So here again we are with another trigger scenario. So if you remember or if you are uh, following this Force Galaxy, the updated videos. So in the last video we worked on one of the scenario which is on the case. On the case object is there and one standard email field is there, supplied email. If any value is available in this field based on that you will going to search for the contact if any contact exists then the same contact you will going to add to the lookup available in this case record okay so this was the scenario and in this scenario we work with the insert part only and the update part i gave you you to practice okay but i'm not sure if you guys has practiced this or not i also gave you the hint how you will going to manage this update part within the same method only okay so two ways are there either you can manage within the same method also with the logic if 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 the logic is similar whatever you need to do at the time of insert same updation you need to do at the time of update also so it is better to manage it within the same method only instead of creating any different method okay so today we will going to discuss that update part only uh, uh, if user will going to update that email field if any existing contact is available with same email address then again you will going to update that contact lookup on the case report so let's try that update part over this scenario okay so this was the trigger method so this was the handler and this is the method on which we worked last time now this time what you need to do this is your case object let me open my case okay so here is one of the case record now in this if you will see there is one of the supplied email is available okay so this is the one this time if user will going to update this email address and with that new value if any of the contact is available then again you will going to do the same thing you will going to search for the contact if available then update this contact lookup with that updated one okay so let's add that part here so this time my case or the method will going to run with the update scenario also okay so let me remove all these things okay so this is the one where we are calling this so this is my handler plus this is the method and earlier only trigger dot new was passed trigger dot new this is the before update and in before update you will only going to have the values in trigger dot new but now this time you will going to fire your method at the time of update also so the event will be before update because on the same object or on the same record only you need to do the updation okay in this time i will going to add first condition where either it is insert or it is update so trigger dot is update okay now next comes here is if you know that in the case of before update you will going to have the values in all four context variable either it is trigger dot new old old map or new map okay because this time your record are also having record ids plus old and new will going to contain older version and the new version of the same records okay so here comes the i will going to pass the one of the older value also so that I can get to know whether this email field is updated by the user or not. So I will going to pass old map instead of old. I will going to pass old map because using the map we can easily able to access the values. But if you pass the list that is triggered out old, then you require another loop to access the field values. Okay, so this is done. Now let's add another parameter here. That will be of map type. Here comes the ID, then comes the case, here comes the old map of case. Okay, so this is done. Now comes the main part how you will going to run your method or how you will going to identify whether it's a insert case or it's a update case. So within this first loop only we will going to make the changes because the remaining thing will going to remain same okay what is the remaining thing is whatever the new updated email address is there with that i will going to search for the existing contact available or not if yes then i will going to update the contact lookup okay so what changes we will going to do in this now here supplied email should not be null this is the uh, condition must condition because for blank values we will not going to check 
so this is null will be there plus here if you know that in case of insert you will not going to have any value in trigger dot old map or in trigger dot old only trigger dot new will going to have the value so this is the only thing which i will going to check if this is also equals to null or blank okay then this if condition will run whenever the record will be inserted okay or else if now comes the update condition in the case of update your map will not be null okay it will always going to have a value or map is not equals to null plus i also want to run this method or, or i also want to run this logic whenever that email field is updated it should not be like this whenever the record is updated every time you are running your logic no whenever that particular email field is updated at that time only i want to run this logic so i will going to add those condition also so what are those condition that your new value of this supplied email so sorry this is your variable or the new list variable is not equals to the old value okay how you will going to access the old value using get and here it will be going to have the id so i will going to pass the record id because for the same record new contains the new values and old map contains the older version and from here i want to access the supplied email so if they both are unequal plus if your new value is also not null again we will going to avoid the nulls okay then i will going to collect the values in this set okay so this condition will run every time your record is updated plus this email field is updated so in this way you will going to run or execute or handle both insert and update within the same method if the updation or the logic needs to be run same okay same thing you need to do either it is updated or inserted so within this method only with the help of this old map i will going to filter out them if it is inserted then this condition will run okay only this much and now finally it comes to this part but if updated then it will be skipped okay and now this if condition will be run and here in this set it will going to collect all the values okay either at a time record will be inserted or updated so that is why i utilize the same set now if you will check this now let's save this and check whether it will going to work as per expectations or no here comes the list Okay, so there are the few changes which I did in this class just to, I think in one of my session to make some things clear. Okay, let's forget that one. From here, it will going to start. Okay, your code. This is your new list and these are the things which will going to work. Okay, this is now the previous one only. Now let's save and save that trigger also. So this is got saved, okay, your class, your, your handler is completely correct. And now here I'm getting some version issue, okay, that I will resolve uh, afterwards. You will going to test this and you will see it will going to work as per the expectations. Now, if you want to handle few more things, like if there is no value in this email, okay, the new value is null. In this case, I want to make this contact lookup value also null. So these are the some conditions which you can handle here itself. If no value is available in this map, if this condition does not satisfy, then in the else condition, you can add whatever the value you want to provide to this contact lookup. Okay. So just try to do all these additions from your end. Okay. And if you are still not able to understand this logic, try to add the debug system dot debug. Try to track your code, how it is executing, what values are coming in this set, then how it is comparing these values, what value is there in this new and what value is there in this old and how they are not unequal or equal. But then what value we are getting in set, what values coming in this list, finally what values are stored in this map and how it is updating this context. 
try to add all these debugs at every steps so that you can able to track your code once this tracking is uh, done by you you will easily able to understand the logics okay if you still face any queries and you need some special guidance then you can join our force galaxy trainings also i will always welcome you and now let's close this video now let's end this video we'll meet you soon tomorrow in the upcoming video thank you so much and if you are having any scenarios or the triggers which you want me to do you can share over the comment section thank you so much